Hello everybody, a uh, long time no see, I know. Um, I thought that I would start doing my weekly card readings again for you all. Um, I've really missed doing them. <laughs> but we moved to a new area and my internet was uh, tricky for a while. So uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, this all works as it's supposed to. So um, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all keeping well. I know a lot of you are going to sell through some stuff. So hopefully the cards will give you some guidance for the upcoming week. Um, just quickly before I get on to that part, uh, just to let you know that my website is always up and ready for you if you wish to book a reading with me, uh, which is psychicmama.co.uk. And there are many readings available on there now. You've got your tarot readings as always. You've also got angel therapy, Reiki, past lives, auras and numerology. So if you're looking for any kind of guidance, please do let me know. I'm also on Facebook, of course. Um, I have a new page for my psychic mama as well. So please go and check that out. So let's see what cards we've got for this week. It's for the 3rd through to the 10th of February and I am using the Archangel Power Tarot. So for today, which is Wednesday the 3rd through until Thursday, we have the Page of Raphael. Good cards, really nice card to start with. Raphael cards are all about emotional situations and as this is a page card you can expect a lot of energy around your emotional situation right now. You may feel that uh, things are in a good place to be honest. Um, you, I've been through a lot of turbulence recently, a lot of ups and downs and if you feel like you're coming to a bit of a calmer place with it at the moment, um, some kind of acceptance and understanding of where you are and what's going on. So it's a really nice energy, this card. Um, it's not exactly a card of dramatic change or lots of action going on, but sometimes having a bit of a breather from it all and taking that time to just reflect on who we are, where we are and what's going on can really help bring us some peace. You know, when we're bombarded with continuously things going on and things happening and we don't know whether we're coming or going and it's, it can really be very, um, I can't think of the words, we feel kind of all over the place, you know. So to have a moment to breathe, I think is really important. The other thing you'll find is that <clears throat> you should listen to the things that are being said to you right now but also the things that are not being said right now. We always get so caught up in over-analyzing and overthinking and, and worrying in our heads about what's going on. Um, and when people say things to us, that can really trigger, you know, our brains into kind of going into overdrive. But sometimes what's more important is the things that are not being said. And realizing that, you know, your intuition, your inner guidance system, will be giving you messages as to what's really going on in the situation. So to really listen and to look and to notice things that maybe you may have been overlooking before. So it's an interesting card, uh, a very emotional card, and I say you, your emotional situation is certainly at the forefront of your mind right now. But she says. As we move forward to the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we have a lovely card. I'm very happy this card's come up and that's New Beginnings. And basically, like the Romsey lover, it does what it says on the tin. You have come through so much and <clears throat> have wondering whether it was ever going to end, whether you were ever going to see that light at the end of the tunnel. And I can tell you, thankfully, that this weekend is really the start of something new for you. A new chapter, a new door, you will feel a massive sense of relief and a great deal of positivity and excitement for what's to come. Um, typically, when we see this card, <clears throat> this is about you fulfilling a dream or a, a goal that you have had. So it's an exceptionally positive card to take you forward. Um, it's also incredibly important to let go of what has been. Um, <clears throat> the past is for lessons. The past is 
a catalyst to take us forward, the past is not somewhere for you to live. And typically speaking, the people who, and this is very general, of course, but the people who are going through a lot of emotional issues find it really hard to let go of the things that have been and to forgive not only the other people involved but also themselves for the, the decisions and, and the things that were said and the things that they you know they did and and ultimately having regrets and you know what if this and what if that is a waste of energy and a waste of your time because you cannot change what has happened you can only change what you do next and the decisions that you made in the past were right for you at that time you know and now that you know better you can do better you know but it's to take the lessons that you learned from that time and to use them in a very positive way so that you don't make the same supposed mistakes again you know although I believe everything happens for a reason so there are no mistakes really in the big scheme of things but when we feel that you know a path may have been better for us if we chosen differently then you can see <clears throat> what you will do different in the future. So to use the past in a very constructive, very positive way, but to allow these new beginnings to come in and for it to be a very positive experience for you because I feel that <clears throat> you have been waiting and wishing and praying and finally you can see that there is some hope. It's like when the spring starts to come in and the little daffodils and snowdrops push their way up through the soil. We feel a real sense of hope and lightness and positivity. And that is how you will start to feel this weekend. So it's a very positive card. Finally, for Monday and Tuesday of next week, we have the Ace of Ariel card. Another positive card. I'm so happy that my first reading in a long time, and they're all very positive. Aces are also about beginnings. <clears throat> and certainly you will feel very lucky and very blessed next week. You will feel that... Um, things are coming your way in abundance to help you with this new venture uh, whether that be money or having extra time or the right people you know you will find that abundance is yours in many forms and will be able to really support you in this new venture uh, give you the emotional the mental and of course the physical support that you will need so <clears throat> don't be surprised as well if this new venture takes you in a new direction whether that's a step up a career ladder or a change of job completely or a change of interest or whatever it is you will find that the the path the road is going to suddenly fork off to a new way and but that is not a bad thing you know a change is as good as a rest I'm full of cliches today and this new start for you is going to be so needed and positive and exciting and bringing lots of fresh new energy so embrace it wholly completely with both hands run with it and you'll be surprised what turns up i'm sure so yeah i'm feeling very positive about this upcoming week now i was feeling a bit concerned before i drew the cars what was going to come but it's going to be really positive and i'm feeling very happy for yourself and for me so <laughs> i hope that's been interesting i hope that's given you some guidance that you were looking for um, if again if you need any further guidance please message me uh, through my website which is psychicmama.co.uk or through my facebook page uh, again at Psychic Mama uh, and I will do my best to help you I hope you guys have a really really great week I hope that it is happy and blessed and full of light and love and positivity so on that note I bid you adieu and angel blessings to you all love and light